So I've built kind of a personalized mini therapist in my notes using a custom AI prompt. So here I've got a fake audio memo just kind of describing how I might be feeling. And if I type in therapist, it pulls up my custom prompt. And you can see it responds pretty closely to just how a therapist would respond. It kind of assesses how I'm feeling. It gives me some encouragement. It will give me some advice on how to feel better uh, and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to kind of walk you through what my prompt looks like, how to customize it for yourself and all of that good stuff. And I really do quite like this. I, I, I used it for real this morning with an actual audio note on how I was actually feeling and some of the stuff that I was struggling with. And yeah, it kind of felt like texting uh, a close friend or family member that's, you know, a bit more objective. So um, I guess I should also give a warning that this is not a real therapist. <laughs> uh, do not rely on this too heavily. This is just kind of like a small thing to help you feel better. Um, it's not a replacement therapist. All of the legal stuff uh, I personally and Reflect does not take any responsibility for your mental well-being. Um, this is just a tool that you can use totally up to you. Uh, but let's kind of go in and look at the prompt. So uh, let me go back to uh, what I would recommend doing is pasting the prompt in a note like this because you're going to want to edit it quite a bit. You'll probably leave this first part the same where it says you're a skilled and empathetic therapist. Um, your role is to take the transcript, pretend it's a therapy session, identify the speaker's thoughts, feelings, emotions, yada, yada, offer um, supportive, non-judgmental responses, all of that good stuff. And by the way, I actually used Claude to create this AI prompt and I tweaked it from there. Uh, so that's kind of the first section. Probably won't be too much that you want to edit there. Um, I did leave in this sentence too, just for others in case someone, you know, gets a little too dark. It will recommend you go see an actual licensed therapist. Um, and then this part is quite interesting, personal information. So this will allow it to be customized to you and so that it kind of knows who you are and all of that good stuff. So I kind of put in some vague stuff. If in my real one, I would put in much more personal things. Like I would describe my relationship to my wife in much more detail. Um, I would go into more depth about my career and maybe add like different side projects I'm working on and career goals and whatnot. Um, I'd be way more honest about my strengths and weaknesses here. These are actually my weaknesses. <laughs> um, but I think I would be... I would probably record an extensive audio note about my strengths and weaknesses so that I felt it really knew me intimately. Um, but you can really put anything in here you want. You also don't have to use these prompts. You could just, you know, put in a bullet list. That's just a list of things you want it to know about you. But I think that's one of the most important parts. Okay. Um, and then example structure. You'll probably want to leave this the same as well. But I mean, maybe depending on what you're working on, you're, you're going to want to change it. So... Um, empathetic acknowledgement, and then insights and questions, support and guidance, and then encouragement and affirmation. Um, that's kind of what Claude put out as the main goals in a therapy session. So I just stole those. Uh, and then additional notes. Um, I actually didn't put these in at all. It put the safety thing itself, but I thought that was good. So I left it in. Um, and it just came up with these on its own. So this is kind of the prompt. You can basically take this. And again, if you have not yet done a custom prompt in Reflect, you can just pull up the AI assistant and go down to the system prompts. Uh, you can, you know, choose pretty much any one. Uh, you'll click on it, expand it here. You're going to clone it. Um, I'm going to stop that there. And then, you know, you can call it like my therapist. I just called mine therapist. And then you can just paste in the prompt here uh, so that it knows what to do. And then the workflow is really, really simple. In the morning, uh, I'm not going to save that. In the morning, you know, you can go for a walk. You can make your coffee and just do a little ramble about how you're doing. It could be anything you want, how you're feeling, um, challenges ahead in the day, uh, things that you're worried or anxious about, things that you're excited about, that you're proud of, uh, anything like that. And you can just run the prompt and it will give you kind of a nice little therapist reflection. Uh, I probably will be toying around with a workflow where I try this with the chat too, so that you can kind of, uh, you know, go back and forth and have an actual conversation. But for now, I just quite like having the therapy sentence to read. So again, I showed you this in the beginning, but let me just run it on this fake prompt again and, or fake, the prompt's real. The, uh, the audio memo is fake. I, I'm normally, you know, again, like this is your own notes. Don't self-censor. This is obviously a heavily censored um, both audio memo and prompt because I'm doing the video publicly, but privately, I, you know, I tell it all of the things because it's my notes and you should never self-censor. So here I've got my little therapist thing. So I'm going to just, you know, insert it there 
And maybe, you know, depending on how I want to structure this, I could, you know, maybe make like a therapy bath link. And then that's like, or maybe it would be called therapist and then you would know whatever you want. But I think the response is quite nice. Even with just kind of a vague uh, general audio note, it gave me some nice things. Uh, you know, it tells you it's reasonable to be feeling that way on a Monday morning. It's reasonable to be stressed or a little anxious. Um, you get some nice reflective questions. Um, yeah, it's basically like all of the therapy sessions I've been to, honestly. Um, so I'm not saying it's a replacement, but it is kind of just like a nice exercise to do in the morning. So I'm curious to see how other people edit yours. If you find a way to make this even better, do please let me know, especially in the formatting.